Nah, what the heck? Yes, Joe is going to be a cleaner today. <laughs> that's right. I'm going to clean a condo. This guy called and he wanted me to get somebody out there to clean the condo. And you know what? Hey, when you have lemons, make lemonade. I'm going to make some money today. I'm not calling the cleaners. I'm going to do it myself. I know how to do this kind of stuff. Come on. It's not that hard. And so I'm going to go and that's what I'm going to do. Among other things. I had other things to do today. But shoot. You have an opportunity to make a few bucks? Do it! <laughs> I never know from day to day what's going on. Yeah, so I know quite a few different people around here. And it comes in handy. Chad! Close the Marine! Good morning! Okay, where is this place at? <sighs> That's just what you wanted to know today. How to clean a condo, huh? No, I'm not going to show you all that. I'll, I'll show you maybe bits and pieces of it, but that's not what this video is about. Live life to the fullest. Go out there and do something today. And that's what I'm doing. I wasn't planning on doing this, but hey, I'm going to make a few bucks and I'm just going to enjoy myself. You do the same. Knockity knock. Is anybody home? Yeah, nobody's home. You know why I know that? Because they didn't have any washing detergent. I came over here. Yo. I came over here. No tide. Nothing here. So I had to go back and get some of my own stuff. And I just ran this. And yeah, so I'm going to have to make the bed and stuff. And you know what? Oh, right on cue. Does your toilet do that? I already looked at this and there's a flapper in there that's not working very well. So I'm going to call the owner and I'm going to get him to have me replace the flapper. Make a few more bucks while I'm here. And I'm going to, you know, while I'm cleaning, while I've got the stuff in the wash and everything, I'm going to walk around and see if there's anything else that needs to be done. And see if he wants me to do anything for him. Yeah. So, hey. I'm glad I decided not to call the cleaners over here. And I ran the dishwasher. I started the dishwasher and it didn't sound, it did not sound like it was filling up with water. And so I'm gonna run this a little bit. He may not even know that. The guest might never have told him about that. This place cool. I like the colors that he did in here. This, this whole condo used to be just white. And so he did different things. That's, that's a nice touch up there. He's got some nice cute pictures on here that, that kind of matched each room and and see the bathroom here's some different ideas for you hey do different things in your rooms see just if you just look at this wall you might think oh that's awful but then you put little things on there and it just brings it to life I like I like this here I like this thing here you know it adds some color in here you've got the the um, the mirror that's a different color and, and all the other fixtures that are on here okay and so once you bring it all together it doesn't look half bad see that's kind of a, a funky color on the wall once you add all this stuff back on here it brings it to life oh what, what did he do out in this room oh green aloha maui i like that little thing there this might give me some ideas on my condo, it's kind of set up. In fact, you know what? My condo set up exactly, exactly, I kid you not, exactly like this, the same layout. Master bedroom is over here with the adjoining bathroom. I like his, his uh, wall mount TV here. That's good. You see you got a big tall dresser drawer here. You can use that for all kinds of stuff if you had a couch that folds out into a bed. Now I'm not sure if he does or not. And this opens up uh, and there's a little lanai out there. See, 
go through this door. There's a nice little lanai out there. It's nice and breezy there too. And they, these are jealousy windows. You just take them and you tilt, you tilt them open, you know, wherever you see the knob. I'm gonna let some fresh air in here. Oh yeah. Oh, I wish you were here. Oh, this is nice. The weather is just wonderful right now. It rained the other day and now it's, it's gonna be nice and breezy today. So I'll open up these windows here too. Let's see what he did out, out in this one. See this, this room I didn't, it looks like he needs some more help, huh? He doesn't have much here. He could, he could put some different things on here. I'm not, I'm not quite liking that room as much uh, with his uh, knickknacks that he's put on stuff. Uh, I like all the touches in this room. That's good. And let's see what he's done in this bathroom. Oh, he's, he's done it like a turquoise. And uh, you know, okay. I'm not too jazzed about that. I do like this. I do like this here. And sometimes you have to pick all your, go to the store and pick all your little knickknacks and trinkets and kind of get a, a visual of what you're doing. And then that might determine what color you're going to paint the walls. Because he, he might have gotten all this other stuff first and he had it. And then he thought, hey, with all this stuff, I kind of, I kind of will like something a little bit darker than different things on the pictures and the, the furniture and everything. It just, I, I like that, I like that there too. It looks kind of Tommy Bahamish. I don't really like this. Here's the, uh, here's the sub panel and he just painted it. Normally there's a, uh, a picture or something that you can put over that and then you don't see that. And see how he did his wall mounted TV. See how his cords go up here. That's because they cheese balled it and he ran the power down here and stuff and you know, if you if you put TVs in, lots of times what's best to do is is take your plugs and your outlets out here and cut in new ones up here, fish your wires up here, that way you don't have any cords. Okay. Takes a little bit more effort. See he's got cords, got plugs up here. I think I did that for him uh, a few years ago, but um, you know, I ran this and there's another coaxial cable like this uh, straight down and then there's a plug an outlet straight down I fished it up here put a cut in box because see this this usually is pushed right up against the wall you can you can uh, scissor this so you can you can swivel this where you want or you can push it up against the wall I had it I had it closer up to the wall but they decided to pull it out when you pull it out and you're looking at it that looks fine but when you're walking in from the front door, this is what you see as you walk in the front door. You see all this stuff behind there, okay? So, you know, you can decide what you want to do with that. He also installed this uh, little mount because before, I don't think he had this cabinet. He just had this, this other thing. It's like, where, where are you going to put, where are you going to put your VCR? And uh, this is for the Wi-Fi connection. If you had a cabinet, uh, with an open shelf in there, then you can fish that the wires down below. You don't have to have anything hanging. See all these hanging wires? Well, he just he decided to do it a different way. Oh, well, that's the way it goes. Okay, you know what? Hey, this dishwasher is going. Okay, there is water in there. Good. At first, I didn't think there was. And so, you know, I better, I better get my little thing out here drop that in and this thing doesn't really fit well I guess it does there it snapped I guess you leave that in there like that and then that pops open I guess we'll see I didn't think it was gonna fit in there I was just gonna put it in there and drop it in that probably would have worked too okay I guess that's it for now I've got to get back to work and get something done and make my lemonade <laughs>